Hey, what's up Virgo? I hope you're all well. This is going to be a general love reading for the first half of December 2021 and it is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Virgo. As always, it's going to be general so it's not going to be everybody's situation but of course you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading with me. If you're interested, all that information is in the description box. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on with you. Overall energy for December, we have a release. All right, something is being released here. It could be you releasing um, a particular connection here, a particular situation. It could be your person as well. So let's get into this and find out. It definitely feels like it's a time period of release overall, just for people in general. Um, so yeah, I'm actually not surprised to see this come up for one zodiac sign at least. But let's see. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, first half of December. Do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, so for the situation, we have the Five of Cups crossed by the Ace of Swords. All right, somebody's feeling um, pretty sad, feeling like there's been a loss, feeling some grief. Um, and I feel like, yeah, it's... We'll see. We'll see when we clarify. Let's see the recent past, the Nine of Swords, and in the near future, we have Strength. Okay, good. Well, first of all, that's Leo's energy showing up here. Um, yeah, I feel like there was a lot of pain in the recent past. There was a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, what's going to happen, a lot of just nervous energy, like really not knowing what is going to happen. That's how that's coming in here. And that has led up to... Um, yeah, I feel like it was more intense in the recent past and now it's more of this like more of a depressed kind of an energy that's showing up here. But whoever that is, I do see them coming out of that in the near future. All right, because we have strength showing up here. Let's see for your energy, we have judgment for them, the nine of pentacles. All right, for you, the tower. More about them, the Fool, and the potential outcome here, the Six of Pentacles. All right. Who is releasing here? It definitely feels like your person um, that you're dealing with is releasing something. Um, not sure if it's you, though, but we'll see. Could be that you're releasing something as well because you have the tower. So it could be like a mutual energy, but not necessarily for each other. Could be, we'll see. Um, you're definitely going through something huge here, all right, with judgment and the tower. I mean, that's like, that's a very powerful combination to have. So it might, and it might feel really, really difficult for you right now. So that's why I feel like it might be you who's in this five of um, cups energy because I mean, judgment and tower, like something huge, something very, like it just feels devastating. It feels like something being destroyed in your life. That is like huge. It's a huge, huge deal. And it's, it's really difficult, right? It's a big challenge for you, but through that, there's a huge lesson that you're learning and it's really helping you to progress. All right, for them, I see them um, pretty much, I, it feels like with, with the Nine of Pentacles and the Fool together, it's like breaking free from something. Breaking free from something which is actually serving to increase their sense of self-worth and it's also serving to help them trust the unknown, like taking a leap of faith. And so that's why I don't really feel like this is them um, breaking free from you, because then we have this fool. It's like taking a leap forward towards you, but in a way where there's a lot more self-worth now than there was in the past. And with that Six of Pentacles, um, 
as the potential outcome. That's, that's even give and take. That's reciprocity. And the way that it's coming in is, is like, I feel like you're, there's something you're doing and that they're doing that's like in parallel. That's what I'm getting with that card. It's like in this harmony, in this perfect harmony, in this balance, even if it's not like physically together, there's this perfect harmony within your energies. But let's, let's see. It's, it's almost coming in like you needed to have this tower to get you to this particular point right and then this person needed to break free and trust in the unknown to get them to that same point that you are getting at um, from that tower and that's why then you are coming into this alignment <clears throat> well let's clarify let's see this five of cups with the ace of swords all right uh the king of wands Five of Pentacles and the Lovers. All right, so Gemini energy showing up here. Um, yeah, I feel like what the challenge here is, is is if this is you, it's to overcome that depression, to like snap out of it. Because I feel like it's throwing you in this um, mode of not wanting to do anything and not really having motivation to take action. Which I'm getting, I mean, it's okay temporarily because if this is you, you are going through like a huge um, transition at the moment. It could also be them, um, but I feel like I feel more so that it's you. And it does feel like, you know, there's this sense of being alone. A sense of being alone and it's like your, your challenge eventually is to come out of this, to come out of the strong, like the King of Wands, um, really being able to overcome this obstacle. Because it feels like, you know, there might even be a sense of abandonment from, from a love connection here. And so I do get that part of this release card here is you being able to release this to, and not even just releasing the connection itself, that too for some of you um but it's releasing this energy that you are in the feeling of rejection abandonment and and of being at a loss let's see judgment The Two of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the High Priestess. You're learning a lot about, about love. <laughs> about love and about a connection, about a soul connection, and about, um, you know, divine soul connections, basically. They're not as easy as certain other types of relationships. And you are, you're just becoming more and more aware. This is helping you to align with your own self in some way, and it is really... Um, it's like it's opening up your senses. It's opening up your your intuition. I feel like this connection has actually led you to a spiritual path. And it's like now it's moving you up to the next level here. Let's see the tower. Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. I don't know what it is that is going on here with you. Um, and it's, it's most likely going to be different for each of you. But it does come in as there being um, some kind of a some kind of like a, a fallout, a big fallout, possibly with somebody you're in a commitment with. And it may or may not be the same person that we're talking about down here. Okay, for some of you it is, and for others of you it's not. And so if you're feeling like it's um, completely done, like this person is just never going to commit, 
or you know if there was another person that you've been um, committed to here you know it's like that is just falling apart and I feel like you know you are there's a part of you that might be um, trying to resist that from happening and then there's another part of you that is like fighting for that to happen okay and for some of you it could be either one or or the other because there's two energies playing out here whatever it is it's 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 difficult and it's like it's throwing you off balance Or maybe for some of you, you are resisting a part of this tower from falling while pushing for another part of it to fall, if that makes sense. And what I'm getting here is that that just makes it harder. And it's really, because it's really hard for you to find that balance. Like, how can you just let, you know, the left side of the tower fall, but keep the right side intact? So, I mean, I'm trying to see how that, because that's, that's what I'm being shown, but I'm trying to figure out how that could translate, like, to an actual, like, 3D example. Um, and so let, let's just assume it's marriage, all right? Or let's just assume, yeah, that it's a relationship. It's like, yeah, wanting it to be over or just wanting the love part to be over, right? <clears throat> like, not wanting to engage in that aspect as a, as a spouse, but then wanting to keep another part of that let's say, um, just, just an example off the top of my head, um, the assets, right? Or <clears throat> sharing certain responsibilities, trying to keep that part intact. And I mean, maybe that is possible in some cases, but I'm getting here that that's actually throwing off the balance. And of course, for some of you, this could definitely be the person that we're talking about down here, like trying to, um, being like, okay, you know what, I'm going to release this connection, but only in this aspect, <clears throat> not in the other aspect, not like 100%. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that can work for you, but I'm just feeling <clears throat> like I'm just supposed to bring that to your awareness and then you decide. All right, so for the Nine of Pentacles, we have the King of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and <clears throat> the Knight of Cups. So this is for the other person here. Yeah, this person, <clears throat> I feel like, is um, pretty much very, very determined, almost stubbornly determined. Um... Again, like they're breaking free of something here. Breaking free of something that they've been holding on to in the past very, very tightly. <clears throat> and again, it's coming in as by doing that, it's like it's opening up the door for them to move towards you. see the hole for their energy. The Hierophant, the Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. So this person is, um, <clears throat> Wow, it's like they're ready to take on a new path, especially when it comes to beliefs that they were holding on to, beliefs and traditions um, about happiness. I feel like it's, and this, I think this came up for another, for another sign, but I can't remember which one it was. I think it was one of the fire signs, actually. Um, it's like it's traditions and certain, um, values that have been conditioned into them versus versus love and then going after what it is that they want going after what it is that they truly want right that ten of cups rather than holding on to some kind of a traditional belief
for some of them, this could be another energy that's playing out here, okay? If there's a third party involved, um, <clears throat> I do see this person taking some kind of a leap of faith, trusting the unknown, and possibly breaking free, as I said, um, from some kind of from some kind of a commitment with another person. Doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be love. It definitely can. But there's just, the main point here is that there's this essence of trusting, trusting what they don't know, trusting in a new path, and going after what it is that they truly want, what it is that would truly fulfill them, versus something else that has been like um, very solid <coughs> in, their, in their life. which could even be um, work, you know, or a career path, or just um, a religion even. All right, and that is Taurus energy, by the way, showing up. All right, let's see strength for the near future. The Seven of Cups and the Three of Cups. It's like this this strength it, it feels like cuz I'm I'm still not sure if this is you or them. It actually feels like both of you, but I, I mostly actually feel like it's going to be you. Um cuz I feel like this person is already has already found that that strength, all right? They're already doing um something that they had wanted to do, all right? Again, roles can definitely be reversed here. Um but for you I'm seeing that it's like you're you're finding this strength to come out of this depression and to find some kind of some kind of enjoyment in your life, all right? Regardless of whether it is with this person or not. But it's like this strength is coming out of nowhere for you. I feel like you don't even know really where it's coming from. And it's like there's um, various things that are, or options that are presenting themselves to you, which can make things a little bit easier. And I see you really um, taking advantage of that, moving in that direction. Making some choices here that might require some strength, but they're ultimately helping you to come out of this difficulty. Like things are going to get easier. And I feel like really what this is saying is that a lot of it is just in your mind. Like it's just the way you are perceiving the situation that can make it appear more difficult than what it is. And I'm not trying to minimize how difficult your situation might be. But there, what I'm getting here is that you have what it takes within you to make it a little bit easier. All right, Virgo, let's see that Six of Pentacles for the potential outcome here. All right, we have the Nine of Swords showing up again and the Emperor. Okay, wow. Yeah, so as I said, I feel like for you, all of this, right, it's all about you becoming this Emperor. Also, I feel like we did have some Aries showing up in the reading. Um, just to point that out again, it's like you are, you are able to conquer this nine of swords, right? Which is your, the energy in your past, right? Which is still playing out a little bit in the current, um, time period as well. So you are conquering that, which is putting you into balance, like finally being able to remember, cause we had the six of pentacles down here, which when I was talking about the tower and just wanting to, um, destroy a part of it, but not all of it. I feel like you're finally able to find that balance. All right, like whether or not that it is possible, for some of you it might be, and for others of you it might not be. And if it is possible finding exactly how you can achieve that without it being so stressful as it is at the moment. 
And again, I feel like for the other person here, um, it's like, again, it's like you're meeting at this point where you're both becoming like emperors of your own lives. So it's not clear like whether there is some kind of a um, getting together. Those things don't always show up in these general readings. Um, but yeah, it does feel like the two of you are coming into some kind of an alignment here. Which would then open up the door, right, for some kind of a reconnection or connection to take place. Right, that's what that Six of Pentacles is about. There being an equal give and take. You being on equal energies. And that may have been a prerequisite for this particular connection. And so, yeah, it feels like you're both releasing something here. And that is what is aligning the two of you. All right, Virgo. That felt a little complicated. So let's see if this resonated. Let's get the final message. It felt like it was complicated and all over the place. But that does happen, right? All right, and we have the full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. You are good enough. Yeah, so take that as it resonates. I feel like it's both for you as well as your person. Um, so yeah, that is it, Virgo. I thank you so much for watching and much love.